MC Bedsprings is back. One of the world's biggest hip hop artists, biggest music artists, absolute superstar, is somehow in a beef with a YouTuber. Champagne Poppy, AKA October's finest, Drizzy Drake, finds himself in a controversy with music reviewer, the internet's busiest music nerd, none other than Anthony Fantano. That's right, this is real life, people. This is not fake. Well, actually, no, it's happening online. But we live in the Matrix now anyway, so it's fine. So for those of you who don't know, Anthony Fantano is an absolute OG in the YouTube content creator scene, the music scene. He's a music reviewer. He's been doing it for a very long time now. He is uh, He likes to stir the pot. I mean, honestly, sometimes he gives really good ratings, really good reviews to artists. And then there's other times when he gives bad reviews to artists. I mean, he's drugged Eminem through the mud quite a few times. And yeah, I, I can see why a lot of people may get upset with him, but... He gives his opinion at the end of the day. And the thing that I'll give Anthony is that he gives a very good analysis. Whenever he gives a rating, he's very good at explaining himself and articulating why he gave a certain piece of work that rating. And yeah, he always gives constructive critique and constructive criticism. So he's not just running around blindly hating on artists, blindly throwing shade, trying to attack people. No, there, there's a lot of thought process behind what he does. And at the end of the day, music is subjective and he doesn't like everything and he lets it known when he doesn't like something. And lately, with Drake's past releases, Anthony Fantano has not been rating them well at all. So in the early hours of the nighttime when Champagne Poppy has been popping more champagne because they drink every night to their accomplishments, uh, he decided to all of a sudden slide up into the DMs of Anthony Fantano. Now, here's the thing about a moment like this. You know, I've had other artists slide up into my DMs. I've had other content creators contact me directly. And I always try to respect the integrity of of the direct message versus someone like approaching me publicly putting something out in a public space like in my opinion in the way that i view things you know if if you address me publicly if you come at me publicly then it's fair game it's fair grounds for me to dissect it to analyze it to make a video about it to review it but if you approach me in a more direct manner and you try to contact me more discreetly then i respect that I respect the integrity of that, and I don't sit there running around telling the world and sharing that. Now, Drake reached out to Fantano, and Fantano was presented with that exact same dilemma. What do I do with this information? You know, do I take advantage of it? Do I go make a video? Do I expose Drake? Because Drake actually attacked Fantano within his messaging, and we'll get to that in a second. But in my opinion, uh, Fantano, in a absolute stroke of brilliance and just the ultimate troll and the ultimate way to really take a negative situation and flip it into a positive he makes a video on it but he doesn't share drake's actual dms in fact he shares a delicious cookie recipe on how to make vegan cookies i thought it was very thoughtful of drake drake was really getting his betty crocker on and getting in the kitchen trying to help uh, fantano who is a known vegan and, and try to give him something delicious to have a snack because these reactions these videos are draining they can, they can be tiring it's nothing like getting done filming you know working hard on youtube and twitch and all the stuff that fantano does and coming home to a nice warm glass of milk and some beautiful delicious vegan cookies just to warm your soul so i i thought it was pretty pretty heartfelt and, and pretty heartwarming from drake but it wasn't real now see there's cause and effect to everything drake wanted to cause something stir up the pot attack fantano in dms fantano didn't rise to the occasion didn't try to drag drake through the mud in fact he actually gave drake an out with this type of response because the majority of people are going to look at it and realize if, if you have a just a moderate level of intelligence that this is obviously a joke that fantano is kidding around and that we're not supposed to take it seriously so Drake could have easily then taken that because obviously at this point he he knows who Fantano is. He watches his stuff because he responded to Fantano. So he's going to watch this video and see how Fantano handles the whole situation. So Drake could have taken that and just run away with the vegan cookie recipe. I mean, that was just trolling brilliance. Drake could have trolled that back in return. We could have had a good laugh about it. And yeah, it could have been a very, very easy out for Drake. And honestly, I think the way the Fantano is because, you know, he, he is at a such a huge level where he does get contacted by a lot of artists and a lot of people and i'm sure there's quite a few occasions and interactions where anthony will just take those moments to his grave he will not share them and i honestly think if if drake didn't respond to this if drake even just like answered with silence and just let it be fantano would have taken these actual dms to his grave and not really thrown shots back at drake but no but no instead of drake we got a wheelchair jimmy he decided to actually take his original messages and his original DMs that he sent to Anthony 
and he shared them to his fan base. So what did Drake say? Your existence is a light one. And the one is because you're alive. That's nice. And because you somehow wiped a black girl, I'm feeling a light to decent one on your existence. Listen, Drake was trying to slide into those DMs, get that Netflix and chill, and my boy Fantano just left him on red. 21 hours ago scene. But for those of you who don't know, Fantano has a rating scale. I mean, some of Drake's albums he has rated well, other ones he's rated incredibly low. So what Drake is doing is he's taking Fantano's very rating system that he invented and trying to flip that on him. And honestly, the uh, repetitive nature of your existence is a light one, and then he goes down and repeats himself when feeling a light to decent one on your existence makes me think that this might be a late night drunk text from Drake. I don't think we're really thinking through our, our grammar or getting our point across with uh, what we're writing out here. Also, I like how he plays the uh, racial police and, and throws like a passive aggressive comment out like here, but you get a little bit of a bonus point because you wiped a black girl. Yes, Drake, a white partner with a black partner. Congratulations. That's how you were made. But anyways, he he shared it. And then the uh, the floodgates of the internet have opened up since then. I mean, I'm not really sure Drake's thought process to this whole situation it's like you you approach someone privately they respect that privacy they then make a video that's in good nature and in good humor i mean fantano in no way was being you know negative towards drake it's not like he was being passive aggressive he was like firing shot or throwing shades at drake i thought it was absolutely hilarious it was just an amazing take and honestly Congrats to Fantano for just the maturity because you know how many other YouTubers and content creators would have taken that situation and gone, fuck it, this is great content right here. I can flip this and leverage this and make him look like the supervillain and I can be the hero of YouTube. No, Fantano didn't do that. He actually took into account Drake's side of things and thought, no, this is not going to make Drake look good and I'm going to respect the artists that I deal with. And he found a very creative, imaginative way to just invert this whole situation. But Drake said, no, fuck no. Fuck no, that's that's too smart for me. I'm going to go back to trying to bully you, and now I'm going to share you with my fans. So hopefully all of my stands and all of my Drake fans now attack you, and they start going onto your page and commenting, which is what's happening to Fantano, but he also has a very loyal fan base that's kind of dealing with them. It's kind of like a clash of the trolls right now on social media. But honestly, from the from the outside looking in, this is this is not a PR win for Drake. This is this is a big L. Like the fact that you would feel the need to all of a sudden share the messages that you sent privately to him what type of validation are you looking for you know that tells me that he's obviously insecure about the situation that he feels a certain type of way because now he's going to publish that to his fan base because he obviously wants his loyalists and his fans to reinforce what he's saying you know he needs that affirmation and then he also wants them to go get him to go attack essentially someone who's supposed to be very secure who has all the wealth in the world all the fame, can do whatever the hell they want to at this point in time, is somehow being very threatened and just feeling very insecure by a YouTube reviewer, by someone who just didn't like your music essentially and gave a very thoughtful analysis and constructive critique on what he didn't like. But it's not like he's always hated on Drake in the past. It's not like he's always had something against Drake. There's been plenty of times when he said positive things about Drake's. In this situation with how Fantano acted, he tried to flip this in a positive way for Drizzy. But it just feels like, I don't know, like like Drake put his cards down on the table, realized he didn't have a winning hand. The dealer was like, oh, you didn't bet that. No, you can take your fucking cards back. Dre's like, fuck that, all in. And just takes all of the chips and just throws them in, even though he's got a losing hand already. I, I really don't understand the mentality. And whoever is in Drake's circle, if somebody would have read this text from Drake, I mean, normally they have social media people who handle all of their social media. Like they're paying someone to make their post, to share this stuff. So Drake literally is like, nah, here, give me that phone real quick engage wheelchair jimmy i'm back baby degrassi days and i'm gonna sit here and be passive aggressive as shit and go after fantano like in what world did he think it was a good idea and these late night texts again make me think that drake was buzzing drake was on something and he probably wasn't thinking the clearest he was thinking but in those situations you just you, you put the phone down but hey i'm not mad because at the end of the day it's not like this situation is going to somehow knock dre's fame it's going to take away from him and what he's doing i mean any publicity is normally good publicity in today's world all it's going to do actually is help anthony fantano more it's going to create more awareness for him it gives more credence to youtubers it gives more credence to content creators on here because an artist at the highest level who doesn't have to come down who doesn't have to interact and engage with us who we don't move the needle for them at all somehow thinks that 
we are that important that we have to now be engaged with and we have to be dealt with. It just goes to show how much we are growing on this platform, how much music reviewers, content creators in this lane are starting to affect the industry a little bit more. So, hey, I'm going to take it as a big W for Fantano. I'm going to take it as a big W just for YouTube in general. But I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think about this situation? Comment down below and share with me who do you think ultimately won in this situation? Who do you think ultimately took the L? Do you think this is going to have a negative impact on Drake's career in any way? Or does it really not matter? Do we just love vegan cookies and should we all go bake some and have a party later?